ShoreDailyNews.com was given a tour of the new Thimble Shoals parallel tunnel crossing construction on Friday morning. The boring of the new tunnel had been stopped after it struck a 1920s ship's anchor along the bottom, which allowed the opportunity for the press to view. Here's Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel President Jeff Holland explaining why the project was delayed at the start. CTJB uh, to obtain the permit was based on their means and methods. Uh, the timeline from the time that they were awarded construction until they were able to begin uh, for a total per permit um, time in terms of obtaining all the necessary approvals was approximately two years. Uh, so there was a delay of just under a year uh, as a result of that. Here's Holland once again giving the updated timeline for completion of construction. The CTJB is the joint venture constructing the tunnel. They expect, based on their updated timelines, that the tunnel system will be open in its entirety sometime in 2027. Here is Junior Lopez, the Deputy Project Safety Director of the Chesapeake Tunnel Joint Venture, discussing the boring machine, where it is now, and how fast it can go. So at this time, you know, because we're at the, at the beginning of the uh, tunneling, so it, it, takes, it takes a toll on going too fast because we can come up with a, a damage of uh, Interrupting the, the top of the overburden because of the let we don't have that much coverage right now So as we get deeper then that's when we can increase the, the, the pressures and go a bit faster on a good day You're probably advancing uh, 35 to 40 feet uh, a ship and here's Jeff Holland once again discussing where the boring machine is currently So the tunnel boring machine has mined 700 feet as you can see behind machine which is comprised of three cars total length of the machine is 300 feet uh, all of the machine is north of the number one splash wall where the island transitions to the bay uh, so the 700 feet is approximately 12 to 13 percent of the total tunneling is complete the Chesapeake Tunnel Joint Venture is currently grouting in front of the tunnel boring machine to create a safe space where workers can access the cutter head and remove any remaining debris from the anchor. After the steel debris is removed, the cutter head will be fully inspected and repairs will take place. The Chesapeake Tunnel Joint Venture is forecasting to resume tunnel boring in February of 2024. I'm Will Russell reporting for ShoreDailyNews.com.